Hi everyone, welcome. This is us. Yeah, welcome back to my our this channel adventure. Um, so today we're interrupting our normal programming to do something a bit different. We decided to take part in the is it the junk journals down junkies down under? Junk journals down under, yeah. Junk journals. Oh my goodness. Something junk like journals that. down under. Secret Santa Christmas swap. The guidelines are. To make or buy something to the value of twelve dollars plus postage Australian, and have it ready by the twenty fifth or sixth of November, that so that we can post it onto our secret Santa. Mum and I both decided to take part, and we thought it would be cool if we filmed the process of what we made. Um, obviously, I won't post this video until after our secret Santas have got their packages, or that would totally spoil. The yes, spoil the fun. <laughs> But we thought it would be cool to show you our processes. So I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you where we're at and uh, we'll get started, yeah? Yay! All right, so mum's going to be my hands and I'm going to narrate. So we thought we'd make um, like an A6 size. So this is just a booklet that I've already sort of got on hand to give us as a template. Um, we want to make something that's small enough for us to get some good stuff in it, big enough to still actually be usable. So what we've got here are two piles. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Um, they've all basically got the same stuff in them. We've got covers of old notebooks, which we're going to repurpose to make into the covers of the new journals. We've got a couple of journal cards and some tea dyed little note papers. There is, I'm going to try and get out of the light. Yep. Some couple of envelopes, tea dyed envelopes, um, some plain tea dyed paper. And then further down in the pile beneath that, we've got just some brown like craft paper just brown lunch wrap kind of style some tea dyed grid paper and some I don't know how well you can see that but this is um what happens when Orion finishes his school for the year and his books aren't completely filled up I chopped them up and we tea dyed the rest of the pages and then we've also got uh some an old I was apparently going to make this into an insert and you can see it's all folded and ready to go, but I never used it. So if we feel like it, we might take, it's not sewn or anything, but we might take elements out of there and use them. Um, and I have also got over here some scraps and bits and pieces. And that box you can see over in the corner there is my uh, affectionately termed my box of junk. Um, and... It's where I keep all, I'll just give you, a, I'll, let's walk over there and I'll give you a little quick see peek. It has a whole heap of stuff that is pretty much journal fodder. So I'm not going to go through it, but it's basically got stuff in it. So that we've got some bits and pieces to put together to make something hopefully fun that our secret Santas will enjoy. So we're going to get started and as per usual, I will check back in through the process and we'll show you what mum and I are up to and um. Yeah, we'll uh, hopefully have fun and hopefully our secret Santa will enjoy it too. All right, so I have got here my pages all cut down. I've got five signatures, which each have five sheets of paper in them, which obviously folds in half to make ten, which means that you're going to end up with 20 sides, which is going to give me... A hundred pages, Mum? Five, five to twenty-five. Yeah. I don't know how to do these maths in my head, guys. I think it's going to be about that. It's going to be about that. Um, this floral here is going to be the cover. And I've got some... I'll flip through the pages once they're sewed together, yeah, but they're currently pages. not. hundred pages. My maths is correct. Thanks, Mum. I've got over here some bits and pieces, which I'm going to use to make some ephemera. Here are my cover pieces and my spine. We went for a three-quarter inch spine because it seemed to match the size of the book, but I have a, fin a feeling that we're going to end up with a nice, chunky uh, sort of monkey when we're done. So I'm going to have to include some sort of nice closure around that to help keep it contained. Um, but that's sort of where I'm at. Now, Mum, over here, I'm going to walk around this way. Yep, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to keep walking. So, yeah. Hi, Lexi. All right, Ma. Ma's got the same. We decided to make the same number of pages because it just makes our lives easier when we're working together. So she has also got five signatures with five papers each in it. Um, 
which like I said, we'll do a flip through once they're sewed together because that's easier way to do it. She has got her covers here ready to be covered. And have you chosen what paper you want to use as your actual cover paper yet? No. Not yet? Okay, that's fine. So I can't show you that. But she is working out of this sort of pastely, you can just give us a quick flip of that, sort of a pastely um, paper pad here will be her colour scheme. So something like that will make a pretty cover. We were semi-thinking that one of those, um, whether this comes to pass or not, but this might be nice on as a focal point on the front cover. That might be cute. But she's got a really lovely. Some of these papers are already in, um, in the in in the in the signatures. Oh my goodness! It feels like a Monday. It's really not. Um, so yeah, she's got some really nice stuff going here. Um, but I just wanted to stop in and make a little little story so far update because I promised that I would so our next step from here is to sew the signatures together and get everything uh, construction starting to happen covering covers and making and all that sort of fun stuff so we will chat to you in a little bit okay so I have got a text block here I've got all my pages sewn in and I am ready to put them into the cover to make the actual book. So I'm in the process of, I've got some white ribbon here which I'm going to use to make a like a bookmark out of, which I'm in the process of um, sticking on and putting in and I thought I'd just check in and show how we are going. There's all my lovely stitching there. Um, I'll do a flip at the end, so I'm not going to show you every page now. But that's sort of where I'm up to. And over here, if I flip to mum, she has got her incredibly technical phone holding down. It's a clamp. The, that's right, while well, the glue is drying. But she has also got, she's actually got her book block, text block, stuck into the cover. Um, and this is her bookmark, which is sort of stuck on. You'll get a better look at it in a... Half a in a half a second once the glue's stuck down um but yeah so that's that's where we are we're sort of if i shuffle this way you'll be able to see the the pages sort of sitting nicely Ta -da! so she's got her cover done pretty birdie on it um, and you can see the sort of bookmarky bit at the top pages are in pretty cool so I'm about to stick mine in and then the next um, next stage is to start all the embellishment. Embe embellishment? Embellishment-ing. Embellishing with embellishments and I should learn to speak English. So we will check back in then. Okay, we have got our signatures put in. So I've got this nice sort of lace tie here. I haven't finished off the cover yet but you can sort of see... That's the profile or the top down view so far. So the closure is just, mum, can you magically open this for me? I only have one hand. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> the technical difficulties. Thank you. So I just got some lace and put a hole in the cover and sort of put that through on either side. Um, and then in the cover here, I have got oh, a bunch of stuff that I'm going to turn into bits and pieces that can come out. So, inside the book, I've got a little pocket here on the front, and there's a matching one on the back. I'm not going to do a fully detailed flip right now, because I'll do one of those. We'll both do one for you at the end, but while we're constructing, I just thought I'd show you how far I've got. Also, I want to set up the tripod for when we do that because it's really hard to do it one-handed. So there's a front and back sort of cute cityscape and then all of the pages are in. But as you can see, I haven't added any embellishments or anything yet. So that will be the next step. So that's how far I've gotten. So I'm just going to go around the other side and we'll have a quick peek at Mum's. Okay. Show me what you got. You're going to tie it up first. Well. I can't show it to you. <laughs> Ta-da! So I've just got a ribbon closure around the front, which is um, attached down the spine. There. 
And then she's already, she's decorated her front cover already, which is really cute. Yep, and there's an envelope inside. And then Mum's pretty much at the same point as me. She's done the the front and back inner covers. Um, and then we're just up to putting the embellishments in the middle. So that is our uh, current state of affairs. And we're going to crack in and start making bits and pieces. And we'll check back in later. So here they are. And they are finished. Yay! So... I'm going to hold the camera and mum's going to do the flip and we're going to walk through both of these. So pick whichever one you want to start with, mother. So this one's mine. The front cover has got a like a belly band with a little tag on it. And the lace ribbon closure. And I just stressed around the edges just to give it that sort of antique feel to the cover. Yes, I'm very distressed. You're very distressed. You're distressing. Um, so inside the cover there's a pocket with a tag. And then I've just stapled like a tab on there. There's tea stained pages of different... There's a tuck spot there, which has got a little fold out note paper in it. Oh, you're dropping it. <laughs> Is it better if I... Yep. And then we've got some craft paper there. That's a journal card in a pocket. And then we've got more tea stained paper and a tab there. So, and then, yep, there's a note paper in that one. So I made this one, it's mainly a writing journal. It's quite blank and even the tags I've left quite plain on purpose. Oh, I didn't put tape on that one. Oh, that's right. I'll fix that. And there is a tabby there and a tabby there. There's the ribbon bookmark that mum just whizzed past in between those two gritty pages. So the, yep, it's got its own little bookmark. And that's another journal card. You're right. <laughs> And then there's another, here, you put it flat and I'll hold it up there, yep. We're so pro-faced, you know. <laughs> another tuck spot there. I love the way that tea stained page turned out. And then flat flips out and there's a tag sort of paper clipped in that little secret spot. And another tag there. And the journal card. They actually tea dyed up better than I thought those. I thought they would struggle. There's another tuck spot. And I've just put little note papers in it, but whoever ends up with this journal can um, add other things in there if they want to. But I don't like giving something that's got, you know, empty pockets. I am, now, the envelope pocket I made a little booklet to go in. It's just got a couple of pieces of craft paper inside. And then the cover. And I put a little book plate on the front, you know, for whoever to write what is inside. Another tuck spot there. And then the other one has another booklet. Same idea, slightly different style, just to make it a bit more interesting. And then another foldy outy bit with the tag. Another tucky bit. Very nice. Lots of space for writing. Another tag in that pocket. And another foldy outy bit with a tag clipped in. And then the tag at the back. And then on the back cover is the book plate. So that is that one. And I was pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I think it's nice knowing when you make something that you like it so much you don't want to give it away. That's a bit how I feel about this little little book. So it's A6 size. I don't know if I said that at the start or not, but it's A6 size. And it has got 100 pages in it. Um, five signatures with five sheets of paper each, which makes 10 pages, which makes 20 sides. So 100 
writable pages plus all the extras. And Mum's is the same size. We ended up with making the same size journals. It's easier when you're working together to make them the same size. So do you want to flip through yours now for the lovely internet? Oh, I'm dropping it. Oh, I'm dropping it. So yeah, Mum had, you, we saw her cover a little earlier on in the video with the pretty bird on it. I do like the way the um, dark pink down the spine turned out. That's really eye-catching. So she's got a big envelope on the front, um, which I quite like how that turned out. And it's got some ephemera inside and a delicious treat. So just a couple of bits and pieces in there, which, you know, I hope that I get yours because I want to eat the chocolate. <laughs> Can't do it up. <laughs> Can't do it up. This is the joy of filming everybody when you need to do a bow up on demand. That's it. My mum's got a little fold out there. So we used a combination of the same sort of tea dyed papers. She's also got some stapled on tabs with hers. Mum's has got a bit more scrapbooking paper and she um, made some really pretty journal cards to go in it. So the two journals are sort of same materials, different color schemes and different uh, creating style, which I think is nice to see the way that they turn out, you know, differences in artistic um, talent. Is that the word I want? I don't know. There's mum's ribbon bookmark there. A nice peachy sort of ribbon. And I really like seeing the different color schemes too. And mine's quite bright and yours is nice and pastel. What's that? And another one. And another birdie. I like the bird theme too. I think that's kind of a cute way that that's carried through. Journal card. And another one. Looks good. It's fun to do joint projects as well. And this is a little booklet, which I think turned out really cute. I like booklets in booklets. I don't I don't know what it is specifically about it, but I think they're they turn out fun. Another card. Gorgeous. That's, those colours just turned out to be just right, didn't they? Mm. More tea stained paper, more craft paper, more cards. I like the way that you um, rounded the tops of those pockets too. That turned out cool. Yeah, I just look at that. Would I actually bend or crease it otherwise? So yeah, it's something a bit different. Hang. I guess the envelope pocket slides down. And this is a cool fold out. I like how that turned out. That'll be fun. In there. And that folds up. And then another foldy outy bit. And then on that side... I'm not to put my fingers in the frame. I like the little washi borders, they turn out cute. Yep, another card. Ta da! Mm. Finished. Mm. Turned out really good. So, thanks for sticking with us all through the process of this one. We had fun making these little books and hopefully whoever's lucky enough to receive them in the, in the Secret Santa Swap really enjoys them as well. Um, I don't know. Do you have any comments you want to add to that, Mum? No. I no. Do. So until uh, next time, I guess, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks very much for watching and see you later.